So we just got back from the post office, and two of my packages came in. The spoils that I got from California. Open it up. So this first one should be a bunch of stuff that I got at a recycling center that I happened to be the friend, a friend of the owner with, and so he let me rummage through all the stuff. This one is about 70 pounds. This one's about 60 pounds. Okay, so we have... Look at that one. Wow. Um, these little air pumps. These are really cool. Nice. It's a couple servo motors. Basically, I, I just... I, I went through, got, grabbed a random box, and just threw a bunch of junk in. And, um... Well, this is this stuff's actually from from Weird Stuff Warehouse. So I got a BDI 2000 BDM JTAG interface made in Switzerland. That was like five dollars, but those are selling for like 170 dollars on eBay. Oh yeah, here's a bunch of stuff. Could you open that up? I also got the book that can go with my original IBM PC for DOS. That is pretty cool. Got some very large capacitors. These would be good for spot welding and whatnot. If they still work, that is. One touch diode tester. Has 1981 on it. Oh. Not sure what these are, but I snatched them up anyway. They were at the recycling center, and my friend didn't want them. Because usually people just bring boxes of stuff, and so I just picked through the front boxes worth of stuff and found a, a lot of neat stuff that he didn't even see he had yet. Can you pull that out? Thanks. Some nice capacitors. Track ball? Oh yeah, I got that at Weird Stuff, I think. I'm not I, I'm not really sure. Trackman. Yeah, uh, yeah Trackman. Logitech. So, this is actually a serial interface, but I wanted it because of the switches. Oh yeah, that's an old voltmeter that I got. That's really cool. So I'm not really sure what came from what right now. That came from the recycling center. So I paid like $70 at the recycling center, but I got a lot of cool stuff. My friend's recycling center is pretty full. Oh yeah, I also got this, a USB to IDE. You can actually keep that in mind. You probably use that more than me. Yeah. Kind of picked it up for you. Oh, could you open this box? I honestly can't remember what's in there. Oh yeah, and um, check this out, my. It's a water cooling block. What? Yeah, you pump you pump a pump a, a coolant through it. Sweet. So what I can do is I can I can put a bunch of LEDs on here and pump cooled water, uh, chilled water through there. That was only ten dollars. I couldn't pass it up. Electron tubes. Oh yeah, these electron tubes. Very these nice. are uh, these are from like. Can you open some of those up, mine? These are really old. And I also forgot I uh, I shipped all my dirty laundry back with it. <laughs> it was less to take back on the plane, that's for sure. And this last thing in this box... Oh, never mind. Nintendo DS or DS Lite charger? I don't know. I threw it in the box because it's not like it had a price tag on it. It's just I'm grabbing junk and throwing it in the box and been offering like 40 bucks for the box. But then I came back and I offered like 20 or 30 bucks for this. This thing's pretty cool. What is it? It's a, um, a strobe charger for a studio. I'll go into this. You open that. But, okay. So I got some of these extremely old tubes. And they even come with ceramic bases on them and whatnot. But these are really old. This one's pretty old. Raytheon. <laughs> I have a friend that works at Raytheon. But then there's a few, let's see, so there's that, there's a few ceramic plugs, let's see where they are, that too is pretty cool. Were they wrapped or unwrapped? Um, I think they're unwrapped, they're white ceramic. Oh no, that's just, that, it's fine, I'll, I'll, I'll probably do a video just about these. Okay. Yeah, it's a bunch of these. But, yeah. I paid like probably like four dollars for this box of tubes. Yeah, so this is oh. this thing 
is a, um, it's meant to power strobe tubes with 900 volts of power, and it actually, it keeps the same voltage, but what you're doing is you change the watt hours, so like you have 800 watt hours of power going into it or something like that. I, I found the manual, I can read it, I can read it, but basically you can like add these together, so you're going to have like, 800 plus 1200, so you get 2,000 watt hours of discharge at 900 volts coming out of these, something like that. Either way, for 20 bucks, I thought this was pretty good just for the case. That case is amazing. You can also sync it, so I might be able to use this to blast something with 900 volts. <laughs> I just realized, are you wearing the? That USB to IDE connector around your neck? No. Okay. Yes. Sure, and deny it, sure. So here are the big lights. It's your high data transfer scarf. <laughs> Might be a few pieces down there, but it's not okay. Figure it out? Not yet. Let's see what I screw into. Want a hint? Yes. Down here? Yep. The screws are already in the thing. Oh! Yeah. Please. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, so you just unscrew those and put I it back on there. I figure it's probably best just to keep the screws on the actual device yeah. itself. Oh yeah, on the top there's also this clip that screws on. Here. Oh, okay, cool. So which way do these face? This way or the other way? Um, try the other way, because they should be flat. There you go. <coughs> Whoops. Yeah, oh, there we go. I thought it was by your foot. Yeah, okay. I saw something by your foot. Get your big one for the big ones. Oh, nice. Oh, perfect. So, where was the little thingy? And it went clippy this way or the other way? Hey, it latches under this part that goes on the front. So, yeah, like that. I don't know. What's the matter? Uh, it got bent in packing. It's funny about those nature sounds. No. Yeah. <laughs> Probably fake. Yeah. Of course not. Nature's loud. Yeah. Those damn birds are annoying. Camp in it, Park Hills, and oh yeah, the animals it's keep so loud at night in the woods. Yeah, the, on the, the mountain, the animals keep you keep you up. Yeah. Just for viewer information, what we're talking about is it was, we're kind of joking about how one person on my recent video about the cat asked if all if all the bird noises in the background was added in post. So it's like no, that's just birds are fucking noisy around here. All the nature sounds. I find it funny that someone would even like think like, oh, are those nature sounds fake? So na that's what nature is. These would be on the top and bottom. Oh, sorry, those are on the sides. Okay, so that's what my first instinct was. Imagine how hot this would get. You know what I mean? Yeah.
want these blotches going anywhere that hold the bulbs on. Yeah, so, like, I figure, like, at least six 100 watt LEDs in here, and just a uh, battery battery pack in here, and blast full of light coming out. So that's pretty much it. That's my haul from California. You found a lot of good stuff. Yeah, thanks. Oops. I might need to fix that. Yeah. But, um, so the price for all this was 60 bucks for these. But I, I bought those with these, so these three things. So that was like 80 bucks, I think. But then the rest of this stuff I got for like 70 bucks. I think it's a pretty good pretty good cost so that was basically one month of patreon money and I'm not disappointed I think that was a good spending of that oh right and a new project came in could you rip that open line so I'm wanting to make version 3 of my lithium powered 100 watt delta light so I ordered a new one well a new old one it was like 15 or 20 bucks and I'm going to convert this one next. I love it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. See ya.